Hello there, welcome to part 3 of the Java Tutorials. This is actually a continuation of the second tutorial we have over here, which was on Java data types. We're going to get a look at data types more thoroughly and try and cover all of the primitive data types. We're not going to cover the object ones just yet. Those are for later. So, start off with writing each one down. I'm going to byte, short, integer, long, float, double, boolean, and care. Now, going back to our chart so we can see how much each one can store. And there it is. So I know that each one can store its maximum and its minimum. So we've got to stay within those boundaries. So byte, we're going to do something like byte num1 equals, we're going to make it 12, short num2 equals 100, integer num3 equals 1000, long num4 equals 20,001. Now float float is a bit different. At the end of a float value, you have to specify that it's a float value by putting an F. See if I don't put the F in, the ID is gonna give me an error and probably underline it. Or not. But you're supposed to put an F there to specify that it's a float. I'll try it without the F in a minute. Boolean is just true or false. So you're gonna leave it to true. We'll show you how to evaluate expressions with Boolean values in a future tutorial. Now care character, we're gonna make it A. Now all these have to be used somewhere. See so we'll try and compile it without the F and we'll see what it's gonna throw at us. Should be a type mismatch error. Or not, but at the end of a flow value, you're supposed to put. There you go, type mismatch. See, so you gotta put an F at the end, and now we should be fine. So now we're gonna do some system out calls for each one. We have eight of them. So, num1, num2, num3, number 4, 5, 6, value, and character. Now none of them underline because they're each being used. So we're going to see what each one does. So. First we have 12, that's a byte, 100, 1000 for our integer, uh, long is 20,001, our float is 120,023.45, our double is approximately 123,456, boolean is true, and the character is A, the single character. So. That's basically data types. Now we are going to cover the string data type. It's not really a data type, it's uh, more of, well, a class, if you will, because it's not store a single like numerical value or just a single value. It can change drastically. It can be a small sentence, it can be a big sentence, it can be letters, numbers, whatever. So. The Java team made a special class for it, so you can specify strings, since it's not one of the primitive data types. So we're just going to say, hello JT, which are the Java tutorials. Down here, when I type sys out, that's the shortcut in Eclipse for system.out.println. You type sys out, then control space, and I'll do system.out.println for you. 
now we're going to run this. Hello JT. And there's your string outputted to the console. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.